Today I'm going to show you how to do some configuring for World of Warcraft. Let's start with the World of Warcraft configuration file, config.wtf. Instead of having multiple World of Warcraft folders to have different config files, I'm going to use one folder and use a virtual config.wtf for each character. The name I use for the virtual file is the name that the game actually uses. That's config.wtf. Then for each character, I can set it to virtualize the file as a different file name. This way, when I log in, the game can remember each character's account name, the server, and the selected character. Next, I'm going to show you different ways to play as any character and have your other characters follow and assist that character. Two basic methods are used for doing this in World of Warcraft. The first is the focus target. The focus target is a separate target that can be used independently of your actual target. Using the hot character switch notifier feature, we can automatically generate and use a focus target macro whenever you switch characters. The second method is referred to as FTL, which is short for focusless, targetless, and leaderless. The FTL method is to use a different combination of modifiers for each character. That way, instead of using the focus target, it knows which character is the hot character by checking which of those keys is down. It is okay to set up both methods and use a different one for different purposes, but most people will stick to one or the other. The main difference is that with FTL, your World of Warcraft key bindings can only use one key. That's because the modifier keys are used to tell which character is hot. Next I'll show you how to use ISBoxer to set up the World of Warcraft macros to use these methods. Let's start by making a key to make your other characters follow the hot character. ISBoxer can create the macros for you instead of having to create them in game. To do this we're going to use a World of Warcraft macro action as part of our mapped key. Just like with a keystroke action, we have to pick a target and a key combination because this is just a keystroke with a World of Warcraft macro. I'm going to start by showing how to do this macro with FTL. I'm going to tell this mapped key to use FTL modifiers defining the character set. And before I get to the actual macro, I'm going to set this to show up as follow me instead of left bracket. The commands box will let me type in an entire macro if I like. I can also use these options at the bottom in order to automatically fill in part of the macro. In order to see what the final macro would look like for my character set, I need to select it from the list next to the target picker. Now I can see what the final macro looks like. Since it's using FTL, it looks very complicated. And anytime I make a change, the final macro text is automatically updated. And lastly, we set it to target the hot character to follow instead of assist him. That's a good follow macro for FTL. Let's see the same macro with focus targeting instead of FTL. We don't need any of the options at the bottom, we just set the command to slash follow focus. Since I originally set it up for FTL, I can turn that back off now. I can set it to default because for my key map, FTL is set to off. So here's the finished macro using the focus target method. Next I'm going to make an assist key. Using macros, you can make assist automatic every time, but I like to do it manually. For the focus target method, you can manually enter slash assist focus in the commands box. And that's the whole macro. Now let's see FTL. We can erase our command and just use the options at the bottom. And that's the assist macro for FTL. We can actually do the focus method very similarly. Let's go back and do that now. And as you can see, the final macro text is exactly what we had originally typed in the commands box. Let's get into some combat. I'm going to start with a round robin death grip macro for my death knights. For each step of this mapped key, a different death knight is going to do death grip. For the commands, all we need to do is slash cast death grip. And if you want auto assist, just use the targeting options at the bottom. But again, I prefer to assist manually. Now I just repeat the same thing for each step.
Now I'm going to create a map key that will make all of my death knights attack and cast Icy Touch. It'll also make my paladin start attacking. This step is going to have two separate actions. First I'm going to do the death knights. This macro is going to have two commands. First is start attack, and then is cast icy touch. This way the death knights will start attacking even if they can't cast icy touch at the time. And now I just need to add another action for the paladin. I can use the same key combination that I used for the death knights, because the paladin is never a possible target for the other macro. And all I need to put in the commands box this time is start attack. Now we can look at the difference in these macros with automatic assisting. With the focus target method, the command that we put in might be changed in the final macro. I can apply the automatic assist to all of my combat macros. And of course, I can easily switch them to use FTL. Now let's see that done with the Icy Touch macro. And that should be all the demonstration you need in order to get started. When you export this to Innerspace, it's going to create an add-on for World of Warcraft. The add-on is going to create the macros for each character and set up their keybinds. It's hard to tell in the video, but when you log in, the IS box or add-on is going to display a little bit of text in the chat window. It'll indicate which character and which character set is active. It'll also provide a warning if it detects that any of your FTL keys won't work. It's time to test each of the keys that I made. Each of them followed and each of them assisted as I expected. Now to find something to kill. Next up is Death Grip. Auto Assist is on, so I did not need to manually assist in order to Death Grip that creature. And now I can try Icy Touch. My Paladin started attacking, and the Death Knights cast Icy Touch just like I wanted. I want to make some changes to my macros. In this case, I'm going to turn off Automatic Assist. I can make World of Warcraft reload my macros. To do so, all I have to do is export to inner space, and then using repeater, I can enter the command to reload the UI in the game. And now all of my add-ons, including the IS box or add-on, are reloaded. Now if I don't hit manual assist, my Death Knights can't attack anything. That concludes this video. I hope you got all the information that you needed to get started.